So I wanted to create an interactive video project and I didn't know what that looked like. So basically what I did was, it's like, well, if I have a really linear sensor, yeah. like a ping sensor, which is like an ultrasonic sensor. So depending on where you are, um, it gives a distance data. It gives distance data because, you know, like the sound wave bounces back and it's collected mm -hmm. um, into the Arduino. But the sound is something that I created in Max MSP. So like, the sound it's itself is basically like a virtual keyboard. Mm -hmm. So basically, depending on where the person is, here, I'll turn it up a little bit, but it's broken down into like 10 different steps. So it acts almost like a keyboard. Basically there's 10 different sound triggers, but there's three different uh, video, video triggers. So this is one of the triggers right here at this distance. And then... That's another one of the triggers at this distance. And then the final one's further back. accurate the ping sensor is so how many so this is this trick this type of trigger is um, picks up a certain like distance um, what kind of other triggers can you use you know I mean motion things like that okay so that's the final uh, distance <laughs> right here so like if you had say like a force sensor and you like push down on a um, force sensor, it would create like higher levels of force, which then would trigger a similar reaction based upon like this patch. Okay. Um, okay. So within these different ranges, different video files are played. And on the green part of the patch down below the red, you can see where in the overall large video file, um, the rangefinder is placing um, the video loop. When there's nothing there, it's playing the first part of the video loop, um, which makes it look like I'm sitting down, like still. Oh, uh, okay. So, like, if you can see, it actually looks like I'm, I actually am moving a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see me like breathing, and the pixels are sort of shifting around. Yeah. Um, I think it's a little easier to see if it's full screen. You see, I'm moving a yeah. little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So I wanted it to be a little more reactive when people came up to it instead of like a flat still screenshot. Yeah, so I mean that's actually just a really small video loop. Oh, I see. Um, but and then when you come... Um...